What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ancient Prophet aka The Truth bringing you guys another DCUO video and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to add chat tabs in your chat box. Chat tabs can be used to help spread out your different chats so there's not an overwhelming amount of text in one tab. You can add tabs like LFG to help look for a group, trade to help look for a trade, combat to help test your loadout or to see what is damaging you in battle, or personal chats to help separate your tells and group chat from public chats. Okay, so to add a chat tab, you're just going to go to settings. Then you're going to scroll over to chat options. Then you're going to go to add new tab. And then you're just going to hit X to enter text. And then you're going to name it whatever you want to. So in this case, I'll name it LFG. And I'll go ahead and make this my LFG tab. So then we're going to hit done. And then you see LFG is in the add new tab text. So we're just going to go ahead and press square. And that's going to add the tab. Then to edit the tab, we're going to scroll down, and then once we're, once the LFG tab is highlighted, then we're just going to press square, and then you'll see the list of chats pop up, and now you can select which ones you want to appear in the LFG tab. So for my LFG chat, what I usually do is I let my tells appear, I let my group appear, I let my league appear, and then I let LFG appear. The reason why I let my tells group and my league appear is because if I'm in a group and I'm trying to create a group, and somebody sends me a tell I want to be able to see that without switching tabs same thing if I'm in a group trying to create a group and somebody in my group maybe says pass lead or maybe says that they have somebody I want to be able to see that without switching from the LFG tab and then same thing with my league if somebody in my league is shouting saying hey I want in I want to make sure that I can see that without having to switch tabs so that's pretty much all I do for my LFG chat so then we're gonna go deselect everything else and so it looks like we're good. So again, I have my tells, I have my groups, have my league, and I have my looking for group. So now I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now that LFG chat will be updated. So now we can go ahead and back out. The way that you're going to be able to scroll through your different chat tabs is you're going to press the touchpad in the center of your controller. And then you're just going to use R1 and L1 to scroll through these tabs. And there you can see the LFG tab is now updated. All right, so just to kind of give you guys a basic rundown of all the chats, so your say chat is just going to be your open world chat. Pretty much anybody, anything you type in there, everybody in that phase can see. Same thing with the shout chat. All right, your tells is your personal message. All right, it's like sending a DM to somebody. It's a personal message. Broadcast is from the devs. So if the devs make a broadcast, it'll pop up if you have the broadcast highlighted. Same thing with system. That's from the devs. Group is going to be your group chat. So that's just any if you're in a group anything that they type in the group chat is going to pop up if you have that highlighted your damage in is any damage that you receive damage out is any damage that you do so if you're trying to see what killed you you would you would want to have your damage in highlighted if you if you're trying to see how much damage you're putting out you would want to have your damage out highlighted all right your league chat is your league chat that's pretty self-explanatory trade chat is for if you're trying to make a trade versus chat is a chat where heroes and villains who are in the same phase can type and everybody can see it um, items that's any items that you get from running a raid or an instance cash is any cash that you get from from the game period um, looking for group is what you're going to want to use if you're trying to find a group to run content uh, m message of the day is for leagues so if your league updates the message of the day every day you'll want to have that highlighted so you can see it uh, combat in combat out is kind of the same as damage in damage out uh, healing in healing out that's pretty self-explanatory it's how much healing you're taking or how much healing you're given same thing with power in power out how much power you're taking or how much power you're given out same thing with supercharge in supercharge out and then your damage summary is just going to be a summary of your damage your healing summary is going to be a summary of your healing power summary is going to be a summary of your power out uh, your league chat is going to be your league chat and then 5v5 and then H healing in these are all my my custom chats Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a trade tab. So again, we're just going to go to options, then we're going to go to settings, 
Then we're going to scroll over to our chat options. And then we're just going to scroll down to add new tab. Then we're going to press X. And then we'll just name it trade. And then we'll hit done. And then once the text is in the add new tab box, then we're just going to go ahead and hit square. And there you see the trade chat popped up. And now we're just going to scroll down. And then to edit that, we're going to press square once it's highlighted. And then our list of chats will pop up. And for my trade, I do the same thing, except for this time, I'm only going to do tells, and I'm only going to do league, and then I'm going to scroll down and do trade. And those are the only three that I use in my trade chat. So now we're just going to go ahead and save that. Alright, so the next chat I'm going to add is my personal chat. So we're just going to go ahead and go to new tab, then we're going to press X, and we're going to type in personal. And then once it's in that box, we're going to go ahead and press square, and that will add our personal tab. So now we're just going to scroll down, we're going to highlight it, then we're going to press square. And then for my personal tabs, I usually just do my tells, and then I'll do group, then I'll do league, and that's it. So that way if I'm in shout chat or if I'm in my default chat looking at shout chat and let's say somebody sells and sends me a tell and then I have to look back on it like 30 minutes later, if it's in my default tab, it'll already be off my screen because most people like to type in shout chat and so I'll miss that tell and I'll lose that tell. But if I have my personal tab that's just from my tells group and my league chat, chances are it's not going to fall off the screen as soon. So I'll be able to look back at that tell for a longer period of time. So that's why I usually always try to have a personal chat tab. So yeah, just to kind of give you guys an overview. So in order to add a chat tab, you're going to go to options, then you're going to go to settings, then you're going to scroll over to chat options, then you're going to go down to add new tab, you're going to press X, name the tab whatever you want, I'll call this YT for YouTube, then we're going to hit done, and then we'll hit add new tab. Then to customize that tab, we're just going to scroll down, so we're going to go to edit, and now we can edit that and add whichever text we want to see. And to add the chat, we're just going to go ahead and highlight it, and that's it. So you can highlight all of these, or you can highlight none of them. It's really up to you, however you guys want to customize it. And then just make sure once you've made your changes that you save it, so you press square to save, and then you should be good to go from there. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.